Hey everyone, Diavolo here, and in today's video we are going to be going over the most recent, and honestly some would say most controversial arc in Tokyo Avengers so far. To me, it has some of the most heartwarming moments that we've all been wanting to see since the very early stages of the anime. When initially reading this arc, I actually thought that the series was coming to an end. Everything just felt so happy, like it had finally fallen into place. But obviously, I was completely mistaken, and the end of this arc left everyone completely speechless. This is the Bonten arc of Tokyo Avengers. But quickly, before we get into the video, if you are new around here and want to keep up to date with the latest Tokyo Avengers content and just other anime explained videos in general, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and also be sure to leave a like as it really helps out with the algorithm and pushes my stuff to a bunch of new amazing people. This video here is also the last part currently out on my entire Tokyo Avengers story explained. I will be releasing the Valhalla and Mobius arcs separately as well if you are interested in those, but they are extremely short so I'm not too sure when I'll get them out exactly but they will be out along the line. So if you do want to catch up on the other previous arcs before this one though then be sure to go check out all of the previous arc videos that have been posting individually recently or just go and check out like the entire story itself explained which obviously features everything up to the end of this video here. But anyway enough of that let's get into the roller coaster of this amazing but short arc. Following Hanagaki's triumph against his enemy Tetakisaki and successfully altering the present to save the lives of his loved ones, Takamichi confesses to Mikey about his time traveling abilities and his mission. Mikey believes him and subsequently summons the members of Tomen to announce its disbandment. Through mixed feelings, the gang universally agrees with the decision. Later, the Tomen captains gather for a time capsule, promising to meet again. Takamichi meets with Hina, who blames herself for causing the death of Emma due to Kisaki's obsession. Takamichi comforts her and proposes they marry in 12 years, to which she accepts, much to Naoto's own surprise. Takamichi returns to the present, with all his friends celebrating the wedding of Parchin. However, absent from all of them is Mikey himself. Draken and Shifuyu state Mikey runs a successful chain of restaurants and was busy overseas with work. Takamichi later visits Mitsuya's shop who is responsible for Hina's wedding dress. Hikai and Yuzaha also enter the shop and the group reminisces. Takamichi returns to his normal life, realizing he is now the manager of the record store and his former boss, but still living in the same old dirty apartment. Takamichi watches the news of the organization Bonten and notices the Hanafuda-like tattoo on one of its members. Takamichi and Hina visit Smiley and Angry's ramen restaurant. While talking, Takamichi sees the photo of Tomen's disbandment and inquires about Mikey, but neither of them know anything as they haven't met in over 10 years, stating that the only information they have is from Draken. As Takamichi sees Hina's earrings, he suddenly remembers the tattoo from the Bonten member is incredibly similar to those used by Izana Kudokawa. Having a bad feeling, Takamichi storms out of the restaurant and goes to confront Draken over what he knows from Mikey. Draken reveals that both him and Shifuyu lied to Takamichi so that he could be happy and warns him against Mikey for he has become unrecognizably evil. Takamichi meets with Naoto with the latter informing him about Bonten, the current worst criminal organization in Japan involved in gambling, fraud, prostitution and murder. Naoto subsequently informs that Bonten's leader is not Izana, but his brother Mikey, leaving Takamichi in shock. At the same time, Sanzu, who is an executive of Bonten, is seen murdering traitors on Mikey's order. Takamichi is stuck in disbelief that Mikey could have turned out evil and requests to shake hands with Naoto again. Naoto is reluctant, but eventually concedes. However, no time leaping occurs and Naoto theorizes that the trigger for the ability is a strong desire to change the current time and Naoto no longer feels any desire to do so since his sister is safe. Takamichi later meets with Shifuyu and reveals that he can no longer time leap. Shifuyu approves of this for he has achieved his mission of saving Hina. Takamichi asks if he knows anything about how Mikey turned evil, to which Shifuyu responds he tried to find out but wasn't able to. So he tries to cheer up Takamichi by saying that it is the path that Mikey has chosen and that he has his own wedding to look forward to. 
Overhearing the conversation, Kazutora appears and believes Mikey is the same as always, but unable to show his vulnerabilities because he has taken a path that he himself did not choose, and the two agree to try and find Mikey. Months later, Takamichi has a haircut from Akun. As Takamichi laments the lack of progress, Akun assures him that him and his friends are searching, but have been unable for Bonten is extremely dangerous. Takamichi asks that they stop, instead vowing to find Mikey himself. He soon gets a call from Hakai, who proposes that they open the time capsule. The time and captains meet, except for Mikey, and the group decides to open the time capsule reminiscing about the past while reading their letters. Draken reveals that he had mixed feelings about the dismemberment, for he never wanted Tomen to end, and believes the dismemberment hurt Mikey much more, but believes that Emma will always be in his heart. The group decides to read Mikey's letter, which has him accurately predict everyone's future occupations, and revealing he disbanded Tomen for Takamichi's sake and to secure everyone's future so that they could learn and prepare for adulthood. Reading this, the group is put at ease knowing that they are still connected. Around the same time, Kokucho asks Mikey if him not going to the anniversary was the right decision, to which Mikey says it was. As the group leaves, Takamichi realises that they forgot to read his letter, to which he also finds a videotape revealed to have been put there by Mikey with a message to future Takamichi. The message reveals Mikey's conflict over his dark impulses that were kept on check by Shinichiro, Emma and Baji, and now he's terrified of what he can become. He wishes Takamichi to have a good life and to not look for him. Takamichi realises Mikey's descent to evil is not external and was caused due to Mikey succumbing to his own darkness. Kizutora appears with a lead on Mikey, but Takamichi rejects it, saying it is Mikey's wish for him to not be found. Takamichi meets with the group at Mitsuya's shop with Hina donning the wedding dress. After Takamichi goes with Hina and tries on her dress, he goes on a frantic mission to find more information about Mikey's location, but is tossed out from a store as they don't want any trouble. Kizutora is concerned about his sudden rush to find Mikey and counsels him to stop engaging on a suicide mission for he has a wedding in three days. Takamichi finds himself in an abandoned bowling alley in one of Bonten's bases. Thinking he cannot meet Mikey, he suddenly finds a gun pointed to his head by Sanzu as Mikey himself appears in person. Mikey asks about Takamichi's intentions. Takamichi replies that he wants to invite everyone to his wedding, and just like Mikey had planned, everyone's futures is the best, except for his. Sanzu threatens to shoot, but Mikey has him retire so the two can talk alone. Takamichi asks about Mikey's dark impulses, believing it was Kisaki's involvement and Shinichiro's death that turned him evil. Subsequently revealing he can no longer time leap for Hina has been saved, Takamichi is grateful to Mikey for securing everyone's future, but now it's his turn to save Mikey, to which the latter responds by shooting him from behind. Mikey chastises Takamichi for looking for him, knowing that it would end with this result. Stating his journey is over, admits Takamichi's protests that he will save him. Mikey reveals he plans to end everything. After this, Mikey walks to the roof having visions of Shinichiro, Emma and Baji. He looks down to people and imagines Tomen gathered there. Surprisingly, Mikey decides to jump to commit suicide, but while falling is grabbed by a mortally wounded Takamichi. Takamichi implores Mikey to save himself for he has little strength left, with Mikey protesting about for what he is doing and that he should let him die. Takamichi opposes this decision, saying he will do anything that he can to save him, to which Mikey points out that he can no longer time leap, and asks him to put him at peace. Takamichi tells him to shut up, and stop burdening himself, and to let himself ask for help, even if it's just once. Seeing his determination, Mikey breaks down, tearfully asking Takamichi to save him. In that moment, Takamichi finds himself transported to the past once more to June 06, 2008, getting ready for high school. Sometime during 2008, Hanma visits Kisaki's grave, remembering all the way from his bored days beating up people to when he first met Kisaki, to all of Kisaki's plans up to his death. Hanma mourned him, praising him for not pulling any punches, leaving a beer bottle on his grave. He says that he fulfilled his promise and declares his intentions to start something. 
Well, that officially brings us to the end of the currently complete Tokyo Revengers arcs. Be sure to chuck a comment down below with what your favourite point in this arc was, and even perhaps your favourite point in the entire series so far. And if you're wondering from what chapter you need to start at to catch up on the manga, then chapter 206 is the spot where all you lovely people will need to start from to catch all the way back up. If you are interested in other Tokyo Avengers content, or just other anime explain videos in general, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and also be sure to leave a like on the video, as it really helps out with the algorithm and pushes my stuff to a bunch of new amazing people. But anyway, enough of that. For now it's been your professional degenerate, Diavolo, and I'll see you all in a bit. Bye.